Hey guys, so next up we're going to be taking a look at the Studio Series 104, Nightbird, from Rise of the Beast. So, Nightbird on the front right there, Studio Series 104, Transformers, side of the box, side of the box, back of the box, there you go. Nightbird. Um, Nightbird is a car, as you can see. <laughs> She's a very small car, she actually feels really tiny. Um, and this, her sword can store here, but it's not the best connection. But her sword is supposed to store there. But it's, yeah, it's not, it's not exactly the easiest connection. Might be if you had small hands, but I don't have small hands, so. I have 31-year-old man hands, so, you know. <laughs> there you go. Um, sword does come off, and then, um, you have this car with purple wheels. It's neat. So it's honestly a pretty cool looking car mode, but the transform. Oh, and she does roll pretty well. So transformer. We're gonna start by disconnecting some things. Oh, let's disconnect the back first. We'll disconnect the back. Then we'll pull here to unlock all of that. Pull these down. And we will disconnect more things, straighten that out, rotate, push, push, fold that up, there we go, rotate, rotate, forward, down, rotate, push, Rotate these legs. We'll fold these arms out. Fold them up. Fold these pieces up. Pull this up. Rotate that. Rotate. Rotate. Get these up. We'll fold these pieces out. There you go. Plug these in. And then fold these guys up. We'll clip that in. And this will rest, or this will tab in right there. And there you go. Nightbird in her robot mode. And she is tiny. She feels small. I think she's the smallest deluxe in the um, Rise of the Beast line. Because she feels weird. She does have the old school Decepticon chicken leg thing going on. Unless you pull the legs fully forward. Is that possible? Oh, yeah. Oh, so she can have straight legs. Oops. Disregard that comment. But the back connection isn't the greatest. Um, she doesn't stay together that well in the back. She does have a bit of a backpack. It's not the worst backpack I've ever seen. And she has a sword. So that's cool. Um, Articulation-wise, her head is on. Can look left and right. Can look up and down a little bit. The back disconnect again. Waist can turn a little bit. Arms full 360. In and out. Turn at the wrist or turn at the bicep. Bend at the elbow. There's no wrist. Legs go forward. Can go back. Do splits. Um, has two. Has double knee joint. That's exciting. And, um, she technically does have an ankle pivot, but it's high, but you can use it if you so desire. Um, she is a bit kibbly. Um, she wasn't as kibbly in the movie, as far as I remember. But I've only seen the movie once, as of this recording, so... Can't comment on that too much, but, um, she's a fun figure. Um, I think of the three Terracons, she is the weakest. I'm not counting Freezer in this, I think that figure's garbage. Um, <laughs> but she's fun. I actually do like her. Not quite a bit, but I do like her a decent bit. Um, you know, she's uh, she does fill out the Rise of the Beast collection, and um, she was a pretty pivotal character in the movie in terms of the villains. So my biggest issue is the back doesn't stay on that well at all. But what can you do? Uh, but yeah, she's fun. I do enjoy her, and um, I think you will too if you're a Nightbird fan. Um, but yeah, that's... 
That's all I got for it. I don't actually see a faction symbol on her. I think about it. She might not have one. Oh, there's one on her butt. There you go. Um, yeah, she doesn't have the, um, the proportions of the masterpiece. If you know, you know. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it a little bit, and we'll see you around for more. Take care.